If Benjamin Netanyahu is your Jewish lifeline, mm-hmm. am I wrong in thinking you might be in some trouble? You can't sell the cure without being the cause. Oh, okay. And that is what I would say Elon Musk is. White men do this thing where they act like they're stupid in order to be violent and have people like, well, maybe uh, he just didn't know. Uh, maybe uh. he, maybe, maybe he just needs somebody to educate him. Maybe he needs somebody to talk to him. Right. Maybe, because he just can't be that much of a bigot. Okay. And that's one of the 48 laws of power, well, too. So, so let me ask this, because that you make up, it's like, he's actively harming. Like, you would think, like, okay, if you're a good businessman and you buy a product, that you would want the product to increase in value. Like you would want to create a product where like more people want it, more people subscribe to it, mm-hmm. more advertisers want to like, it seems like he's purposely destroying uh, X with these anti-Semitic posts and hurting Tesla and his other company, SpaceX, all of them. He doesn't technically get hurt because he's the ownership. Er, the investors are the ones who get hurt, oh, right? So he's he's fine. I mean, he, he you know um, he's when your parents are you know literally colonizers and you get to have yeah. a, a mine True. where you can just get you know money you know yeah. from stealing land from Africans. This yeah. is what happens. But what Elon Musk did was he did this thing. Then he hopped on a flight to Israel. Yes, and then he did this little thing with Netanyahu by promising people, "I'm not anti-Semitic." And to, to do that, I promise you, I won't give the Gazan people access to the internet via Starlink. I will make sure mm. that people won't, the people who are oppressed and harmed, won't have access to the internet, so they won't be able to, crit- to to critique you or to share information that makes you look bad. See, I'm not anti-Semitic, and on mm. top of that, if you buy into my company, right, and I partner this business arrangement with you, it works. Because what does Elon Musk do when he's when people are saying he's anti-Semitic? He then turns around and says, "You know what? I will stop black and brown people from having free speech on uh, my platform." Yeah, yeah. And then I prove to you that that I have loyalty to you. And that's again, when people have to remember, Elon Musk bought X because he did not want to see black and brown people. <laughs> creating social movements on social media. And he was a free speech provocateur. Yes. All this type of stuff until it came to black and brown folks. So anything he can do to get black and brown people off his platform, he is going to do that, number one. And anything he wow. can do to make it seem like he's the good guy in the end, he'll also do that. So he says something anti-Semitic. Instead of making an a, a actual apology, he'll go, he'll talk to so, somebody from the ADL, he'll talk to somebody from Netanyahu, introduce a policy that is already in force, and then he's the good guy again. Yeah. And it's wash and repeat, wash and repeat. And he always does these like these little contracts and these amplifications. And so people are like, oh, he's a good guy again. He has said who he is from the very beginning. From the beginning. He has said what he believes from the very beginning. And then Netanyahu, who is someone who's at that 4%, can be like, look, I brought Elon over. And he said he's going to stop these people um, from tweeting these these four words. So therefore, like, I'm the good guy. Look look what I've done for you. Mm-hmm. And so these, these white supremacist power brokers always are able to work together and build each other up. Uh, because they they do this t- type of work, and I I think a lot of times we again because we don't want to believe people are just racist bigots, we want to believe they just they're just like bumbling idiots, yeah, and that we allow it to happen. I think about Boris Johnson, especially in the UK, yeah. I think about Trump at the very beginning, yeah. Like how how was he to know that saying where he, they're not saying their best and their brightest were you know was offensive. Oh, then we have the Muslim ban. Yeah. Oh, then we have yeah. mass deportation. Yeah. Well, how was he to know that people were going to be harmed by that, right? Mm. And yes. so it's like simple, like wash and repeat. So that's why I don't try to um, be like, oh, maybe he's a fool, but no, he's doing this on purpose. And at the end of the day, like we all, a lot of us still are on, I had to call it Twitter, but like yes. he knows he has this product that people are using. And so he's able to, like, to wield that. To manipulate, a lot of yeah. people have left, you know, to, 
trying to like move to different platforms and engage on different platforms. But we're seeing that with social media, people are still trying to attack social media because it's such a way, a, a important tool to educate people about what's happening in the world. So yes. we're so you know he's able to use that power. So organize, like, right.